Here in the last few weeks, I've put in a lot of time working on DTOS, and I haven't really been adding a whole lot of new functionality to DTOS, but I've gone down this weird rabbit hole recently of theming DTOS, because I want to have several different color schemes available for you guys that are using the DTOS script, so that way you can have whatever color scheme you want as far as your terminal emulator and Doom Emacs, XMO Bar, which is the panel for XMO Ned, Conky. I want them all to be themed the same way. Trayer, which is the system tray, uh, your login screen as well will also be themed for your color scheme. I, I want to be able to, you guys pick a color scheme and everything changes is eventually what I want to get to. And what I've been working on here in the last few days is I wanted a way in my Xmonad config to where I can change one line and it will change the color scheme for Xmo bar trayer, which is the system tray, which is actually sitting on a different monitor right now. And this is cocky. And I, I want to be able to change at least all of those by changing one line in my Xmonad config. Let me switch over to this desktop. So this is actually trayer here on this monitor here. And I'm going to go ahead and open Doomy Max, and I'm going to go ahead and open my Xmonad config here. This is a literate config, meaning it, it's an org mode document, but all the source code blocks within this org mode document, they get outputted to, they get written to uh, xmonad.hs, which is the Xmonad config file. So near the top of the config, I have this import section where I import a whole bunch of Haskell libraries. So we import all these libraries so we can use some of the functions within them later in the config. And what I decided to do is is I decided to create my own custom libraries here. And I created these 10 libraries. Doom 1, Dracula, Gripbox Dark, Monokai Pro, Nord, Oceanic Next, Pill Night, Solarized Dark, Solarized Light, Tomorrow Night. And what these are, they are simply color schemes. And you pick one of the 10 color schemes and then do import colors dot name of color scheme. And then that should change all the color values in my xmonad config to the appropriate color values so let me show you this in action first actually let me i'm going to launch a new instance of emacs here and what i'll do is let me show you this folder here so in my home directory in dot xmonad i created slash lib and this is where if you're going to create custom libraries for xmonad they need to be in dot xmonad slash lib slash you can do a subdirectory in slash lib, and that's what I did. I did a directory called uh, colors with a capital C slash and then the individual modules themselves, such as doom1.hs. Uh, getting some LSP errors there, but anyway, there is that particular doom1.hs file. And you see here, module colors.doom1 where, and that very first line, that allows you to actually use this as an import in your xmonad.hs. So when I do import colors.doom1, that is how we're accomplishing that. I just need to make sure I have that line at the top of this file. And then I set a whole bunch of variables. First, I set color scheme equals, and then I give it a name, doom-1. I'll show you why I need this variable later. And then I set... 18 colors here uh, color back which is the background color four, which is the foreground and then colors uh, 1 through 16 for our 16 base color scheme our terminal color scheme our emacs color scheme for doom one i plug in all the appropriate values and then i also created this variable here color tray equals dash dash tint which is a flag for trayer and then zero x and then the color scheme which should be the same as color back here so in our xmonad config because we've imported this module here all of these variables are available to us in our xmonad.hs and from here on what i did is i i decided to go in and substitute like i had my normal color which this is the border color of normal windows and i had it set to a specific color for doom one but what if you guys want to use grubbox dark you would have to go in here and manually edit that hex code value well what i did is i just changed that to the variable color back color back here right and then uh, my focus color is color 15 where before i had it set to a specific color you guys are probably seeing where i'm going with this and then the auto start hook what i'm doing here is 
Conky. I have a whole bunch of Conky configs and they all start with name of the color scheme dash 01 rc That's the name of them. And what I've done is now I've inserted this variable color scheme plus plus dash 01 rc So this variable here color scheme equals. So what this is saying is the Conky what I want you to do is launch a Conky called doom dash 1 dash o1.conkyrc and then i have this here which spawns an instance of trayer and in this command there is a part where you set the background color and what i did that background color by the way is the dash dash tint space and then the hex code value i substituted that for color trayer so that particular variable and then if i go to the very end of my xmonad config let me make this full screen so you guys can see this i had various colors for uh, pp current pp visible pp hidden so these are the pretty printer uh, commands for your xmobar settings here on the right hand side of your xmobar and it used to i had specific hex values inserted here where now i have substituted them all for variables that way watch what happens let me go ahead i'm going to move my xmonad config to the left hand side i'm going to go back to the top here and if i go back to the import section where i had colors dot doom one where i'm importing that what i could do here is actually i could change doom one to nord for example i'm going to write that and then i'm going to go ahead and output that to xmonad.hs with org babble tangle inside emacs and then i'm going to restart and XMOBAR changed to using the Nord color scheme. Uh, all the widgets in XMOBAR are using the Nord colors. Trayer now is using a background for Nord because I have a Nord.hs module with the 16 base colors and everything. Also, if I go back to this particular monitor, the Conky, it killed the Doom 1 Conky and started the Nord color scheme Conky. If you want to see this in action again, I could change it to something really crazy like solarized light. Then let me org babble tangle and then restart Xmonad. And it kills Conky, kills Trayer, and restarts Xmobar, Trayer, and Conky all using the uh, solarized light theme. Let me switch back to desktop one to show you the solarized light conky. So uh, everything appears to be working correctly as I want. I'm getting real close to being able to essentially changing one value because right now the only value I needed to change was imports change one line. And of course, I could automate this to the point where, you know, I could, you know, have a script that just grips out that line and changes it to the appropriate value. You know, I can create like a, a daemon use script where you can choose from these 10 possible choices and then, you know, using grip or sit or awk or whatever, you know, I could just change that line automatically for you. The only thing I haven't gotten around to changing on the fly just strictly by restarting xmonad is of course emacs i can't change the color scheme inside emacs on the fly because that is more of an interactive command where in doom emacs if you do space ht at least in my config i can search for something since we're using solarized light let me change to solarized light just for sake of completeness here. One other thing I need to work on is D menu. My D menu, I actually have my D menu also with the ability to change to one of these 10 color schemes. But what that involves is changing just one line in my D menu config, which is the config.def.h. The problem with D menu and all suckless software is after you change that line, you then have to recompile. But I think I can eventually automate that as well. Because I eventually want to be able to, again, get to the point where I can just make one change and everything changes to the appropriate color schemes. I'm going to go ahead and put this back to Doom 1. Let me write that. And then recompile Xmonad. Yep. And then let me go ahead and get Doom 1 back to our theme inside Doom Emacs as well. Yeah, I think my eyes really appreciate going back to that dark theme, solarized light. It's a nice color scheme, but man, that was blinding. So for you guys that are actually trying out DTOS right now, I've already pushed the changes. So if you've already got DTOS installed, when you do a sudo pacman syu to update your system, you will have a package called DTOS-DTOS 
Xmonad that installs. And that installs my new Xmonad configs, but it's, it doesn't overwrite your existing configs. It installs those configs to a folder in slash Etsy slash DTOS. So go into slash Etsy slash DTOS and you'll find a dot Xmonad directory. Copy that dot Xmonad directory to your home folder dot Xmonad directory and my new configs will take effect and you know then just recompile and you should now have the ability to change to one of those 10 color schemes now before i go i want to thank a few special people i want to thank the producers of this episode devin gabe james matt michael mitchell paul scott wes akami allen linux ninja chuck commander angry kurt diokai david dylan gregory heiko koska lee maxim mike nitrix erion alexander peace arch and fedora polytech raver red prophet steven and willie dang i think i messed up a couple of names there but i want to thank these guys they're my highest tiered patrons with Without these guys, this episode you just watched would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I'm really proud that I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like this great content about Linux and free and open source software, please subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. Blinded by the light, revved up like a deuce, another runner in the night.